Long time no see guys, as this is our first episode to the beginner's guide to Street Fighter V. My name's Air. And I am Bear. And today we're going to talk about the interface of Street Fighter V for beginners. been far too long since I've sat next to you. Almost two years, huh? This has been, this is a new chapter for us, man. This is Street Fighter V, a new game, a new start for me so I can finally be better than you. It's not gonna happen. But, <laughs> but anyways, this is a new game and it's a lot of, you know, it's fresh start and a lot of new stuff for me as well. Yeah, so we decided to make a beginner's guide for you guys, for anyone just getting into fighting games, and even some things you guys might learn here and there, even if you're an advanced player. But first for things first, we wanted to talk about the interface of Street Fighter V. Air, let me know what the hell is going on here. You know, someone new to fighting games are gonna look at this screen and be like, God damn, I don't know what is going on. Right, so first you wanna look at what determines you to win or lose. Okay. So look at the green bar on the top. That's your life bar. Okay. And that determines, you know, how much life you have and how much damage you're taking off your opponent. For example, but hit Armika here. Those red, the red part. Well, this is a training mode. That's why it's you know regenerating the health. Yeah. And usually, this is how much damage you're taking off off her. Okay, so the red part actually shows you the amount of damage right. you've done in that short period of time. Right. And then there are also something called a gray health. Okay. So which when Armika does that. See? That's a great health. Yeah. So great health is when you... You don't take actual damage, but you're taking like... Shadow damage. And then that's when you... Let's say that happens. And I hit you again. It only has sort of one hit. You're losing damage on top of that. But then the great health you can actually regenerate by time. Okay. You're not getting hit. That's why you're not getting... Hit. Okay, so it's not guaranteed damage. But if you get hit while you have great health, you'll take... The damage of the hit and the gray, like the gray health combined. Correct. So it's like definitely you want to run away maybe or play a little bit defensive right. about the gray health. Well, all right. Then what is this bar that I see and I haven't seen in many years? That's right under the health bar. What exactly is that? That's the stun gauge. Okay. That's where you measure how much more gauge you have until you get stunned. Okay. So for example, if I hit, it's building on Mika like you know I'm being. The beating her, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you beat your meter all the time. Yeah. Keep... So once, once you get stunned, that's no good. Because you can't move. And that's when I can, you know, extend my pressure and combo and have more damage. Basically, when you're about to get stunned, you want to either be more defensive or want to run away until the bar goes back to like normal. Yes. Definitely, because there is a bit of time where it starts to deplete mm -hmm. if you're not doing anything for a while. So, and what is that in, in, in between the health bar? Right now, it's an infinite sign. Well, that's the timer. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's the timer of the round. But right now, in training, most of the time, it doesn't count. Yes, it, it doesn't count down right now. Uh, and now, let's look at the bottom half of the screen. There's something called the V trigger. So, there's a new mechanic in Street Fighter Five, and it's basically a power up for your character and it's a unique move for every single character that has their own move and you actually activate when it's full like this when it's a speed trigger flashing okay you activate it by uh, pressing the hard punch and the hard kick and then you get unique moves like for example Ryu has you know, electricity on his hands now and his fireball is so much faster because they cause it a knockdown nice so it's kind of like a buff to your character mm -hmm. or I mean I guess it's unique for every character correct, right? correct so, nice. So, would you call this kind of like a little bit of a comeback mechanic or...? Yes. Okay, nice. Now, what's this blue blue so, thing that I see flashing? So, right now you see C8, which means critical art. Okay. That is your strongest move of your character. Okay. So, for Ryu, the case of the Oops. Oh, super. Right, it usually gives you like a really long animation. Nice, but I noticed that when that re recharged, there were three separate sections. Uh, you know, that are slowly accumulated. Why is it split up into three different segments? Like, what are those segments? So once you... So before it flashes, like, the CA, yeah. it sees EX. So basically, you can only use one bar each time to power up your special move. Okay. So for example, if I do a... 
a Golkin. If I press two punches, it gives you a two hit and a faster projectile. Okay. But you spend one meter for that. So there are there's a variation of every special move that's a little bit stronger but costs a bar Correct. to do. And that allows you to do different combos or maybe things that weren't possible with the normal one. Now you can do it. Nice. Now I've watched a little bit of Street Fighter V footage in my time. And I know this is the interface, but once in a while when you do something, some stuff is gonna pop pops up from the side of the screen. So in the beginning of the battle, if you're the first person who attacks someone's first, like that, it shows a first attack. I don't know what the point of it, because you don't do extra damage or anything, it just yeah. shows you that. Who got the first hit. Right. For betting or something, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then there is uh, cross-ups, actually. Right. So it's really unique in this game. It actually makes it a little bit easier for newcomers. So when you do like a cross up, it shows you what a cross up is like. It hits the different, the opposite side of where you're blocking. Yeah. So it actually shows you instead of you, you know, always wondering what the hell hit me, right? So usually for people who are new to fighting games, they'll be like, I swear I was blocking that. Yeah. And you just got hit, but this actually tells you if it's a cross up, you block the wrong way. Nice. And there will be things called counter hit. Okay. So counter hits is, you know, it deals more damage and it extends extends your combo. It gives you more time to combo to the next move. So for example, things that weren't possible would be like a standing medium punch and get sweep. That's not possible. But now become possible. Thanks. You do the counter hit. And how do you exactly land a counter hit? Like what is it? Usually when someone is doing some movement, but then you counter it, like you hit him before their move comes out. Oh, okay, so you're hitting them while they're in the middle of doing right, something. Right, right, but before it comes out, it beats their move, basically. Yes. Okay. So, like, here you can do something called like a crush counter. So crush counter only works if you're using the heavy punch. It's a counter hit of a heavy punch or a heavy kick. Okay. So let's say, um, I notice my character just kind of flies there. Right, so every character has one that, not every character, most of the characters. Yeah. Let's say, we're you standing Heavy punch, it knocks them like airborne. But you give you a, a free juggle at the same time. Oh, nice. But then uh, one stays on the ground, so like this. So you get extended combo. They say they're in like a like a stun like stage. a split second stun stage. Yeah. So you have to uh, extend your combo. So air, what other new mechanics were added into Street Fighter V? Uh, they added something called a fee reversal. Like you see down there, I only have one bar instead of two. When yeah. you have two, it becomes a free trigger. But you can also still use fee reversal, but basically fee reversal, you use one bar to okay. execute it, and it's something that you just you know get out of pressure. Okay. You can only you know during block, then you can do it by doing four and three punches or three kicks, depending depending on the character. Okay. So, so right now I don't have it, but you can yeah. use yours and block like that. Well, I guess that just about wraps it up for the extreme basics of Street Fighter V. You know, a lot of these things we talked about, we'll definitely be getting a little bit more in detail of, mm -hmm. so. so. In the future episodes, we'll be explaining each one of these uh, mechanics in depth. And just to make sure you guys, you know, follow us. Yes, so until next time, guys. Don't mind Air guys, he's being a little bit of an idiot. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Air Bear Dojo. This is a new channel for us, so it means a lot. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.